This is um, one of the greatest barbells ever created. <laughs> <laughs> the wad toys, check out the knurling on that bad boy. Super deep, super aggressive. Your daughter, what kind of weightlifting does she do? Snatch, all clean, all of it. Heavy Sometimes weight? she makes yeah. up her yeah. own. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> the form is good. Squats 245 good. is her warm up weight, so <laughs> she just starts right there. Good man, how are you? Good. Nice oh, this is nice sweet, dude. You're welcome. So, Ladies I'm Caitlin Wilkerson. You can Hi. find me at kate.wilkerson on Instagram. I'm a teacher full time Hi, and a trainer in all my free time. I'm Tim Wilkerson. Uh, you can find me at uh, timw59 on Instagram. I partially own and operate a uh, basement and crawl space uh, waterproofing company. Yeah, this is our gym. You can get so much out of a gym and the gym has so much awesome community but like your home community like you have so much access and so much availability to go in and train whatever best fits your schedule i actually just started uh these past two weeks uh following full-time crossfit linchpin and i'm training mostly weightlifting i'm three weeks in uh following Bergner strength programming, but I'm getting my programming from Sage. I think one of my favorite things is we can talk people into coming and working out with us that yeah. normally wouldn't work out at all. Definitely. So like her siblings, we've uh, talked into doing a lot of working out with us and stuff, and like they would never have gone to a CrossFit gym with us. Yes. Find some programming you like, and hopefully either someone else did follow it with you, or a coach to watch you remotely, or something to hold you responsible. Because if you're just like, I'm gonna, I'll come out and lift some weights, and it's like, you're gonna come out and, even if you get out here, which is an accomplishment in the first place. <laughs> you might just end up sitting here half the time and doing like some bicep curls and then calling it a day. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, that's great. <laughs> Hey guys, we're here and we're gonna walk through their gym. This is a two car garage, three car garage. It's like, it's got a double door, but it's a little bit wider. And then it's wider inside too. So you can probably fit three cars. And then it's also deeper, right? Yep. Okay, do you know the dimensions it's of it? About, uh, I think it's like 37 by 27. Okay, 37 by like 27. That. Maybe a little bigger. Okay, and do you guys ever park in here? No. Okay. Smart, <laughs> street parking. So the floor, um, the floor is epoxied. Right, yep. and it came that way when we bought it, so it was sweet. Okay, and then you guys have flooring that. Tell me about the flooring because it's a different color. It's, I mean, it's different than most gyms have. Yeah, uh, one of our friends at our CrossFit gym that we went to was actually the facility manager for all that Nazarene University, which okay. is a pretty big university yeah. uh, nearby here, and. He was saying that he knew we had a garage gym. He's like, hey, do you need any rubber floor? So apparently a couple of years ago, they built a brand new uh, indoor track at the, at the school. And they had a bunch of extra rolls of flooring and they had just put it in a store storage warehouse. Okay. And after so many years, they're like, we want to get rid of this. So they were just giving it away or going to throw it out. Dang. So we scooped it up. Um, and their colors are uh, purple and gray. So that's why the yeah, colors are that way. <laughs> Uh, and this was all we had left by the time we got there. So cool. we snagged it up and uh, made it work. Yeah, and you got a platform over here. Yep. Mm -hmm. You do most of your lifting here. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then let's go over here. So okay. they've got a, a plate tree. This is a rogue plate tree. Yep. Um, why do you choose echo plates? You yeah, know, we like the colors a lot. Okay. The echo bumpers that we originally started with was the first thing we got. And we didn't. We weren't in love with them because they're a little too bouncy for yeah. our taste. So we like the denser rubber. Yep. And then uh, these ones actually had a really nice price on uh, Black Friday from Rogue Sweet. last yeah. year. So, so you said most of this gym was actually from Black Friday. Yeah. Uh, okay. Good. Some of the original was from Black Friday three years ago. Okay. And then this last year we ordered a lot. Okay. And then we picked up a couple things first. Like the skier is pretty recent. Sweet. Yeah, no no doubt uh, Black Friday is the best time to buy gym equipment. Yeah. Got some rogue dumbbells, 50s and 35s. Is that just because it's like CrossFit standard? Yeah, for dumbbell basically. smash. Yeah. And yeah. then just some extras we inherited from some family. Uh, so tell me about why you went with this one. This is a 3x3 Monster Light rig. Why you went with this versus Infinity? And 14 foot. 14 foot. Okay, yeah. so you got space for two squatters and like. 
10, oh. 12 people pulling up. Yeah, a lot of yeah. pull ups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, why'd you go with this one? Honestly, it was the biggest one we could fit. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. If yeah, it would have awesome. been longer, we would have got a bigger one. Cool. I okay. honestly did want. She was trying to talk me into the, yeah. the next size up. wanted to work then. I'm like, yeah, I really, because I do do a lot of like home construction projects. Well, that's the thing about like CrossFit gyms versus like CrossFit home gyms versus powerlifting is CrossFit gyms tend to have a lot more space yeah. because they're doing a lot more movements. Whereas like if you're powerlifting, you're like in the rack or outside the rack. Mm -hmm. So like having all this space and so much space to like do your work, perfect. It feels like a mini CrossFit affiliate. Yeah. So you guys have great storage over here, hiding the bench. Yep. Yeah. Leaving a bench out, like this is just a great way to get it off the floor. And then when you use it, just pull it down and it looks really clean. Mm -hmm. Got the bar holder here. This is the Rogue, uh, I think it's called like the meter bar. Okay. Or okay. It's literally yeah, like the cheapest bar. It's got a yeah. thicker. Okay. Know, so. The first bar. The first uh, bar. Okay. Yeah. Pegboard. Mm -hmm. Is this pegboard? Did you guys make this? Or is this one you brought? Yeah, that was rescued. And a couple years ago, we tore down the old school and built a new school. It was just going to be too much money because the school was too old. They were like, okay. we're just going to build a new one. But in the gym was that guy. And I was like, we're okay. not <laughs> knocking the school down <laughs> and leaving that there. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Uh, it looks like like uh, like some sort of flooring, like basketball flooring or yeah, something. Yeah, well, it had to be a part of uh, that original setup in that school. I mean, your dad went to that school. So yeah, it's so, an old school. Okay, yeah. My dad actually used that. So why do you go with the skier versus a rower? I really like the skier. Like okay. I said, it's just such a fun piece of equipment. Yeah. And I also like how when you're using it, it's such a core workout. Like mm -hmm. if you're doing it how I think you should be doing it correctly. Yeah. Like the pull, like it just engages so much more of that core. Definitely. I really like that. Uh, our gym had uh, assault bikes, okay. and at the time we were doing some of the gym's programming at home, and we just kind of wanted to stick with the same yeah. to compare, Yeah. and uh, we were just used to the assault bikes. So moving over here, you've got the wood paneling on the walls. Mm -hmm. I noticed it kind of like goes off. Are you planning to do the rest of the garage, or is this like planned? Because it kind of no, looks cool. Planned. Just okay. kinda, yeah, like it's like, came up with that idea. it's like it's fading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we knew we want, well originally we are going to just do this corner. Okay. And then with the windows, and it would have stopped like right here, and that would have looked strange yeah. aesthetically. So he said, let's just continue it all the way out there. And then here, we can just kind of fade it out. I mean, the wood's already supporting all the way across for the rig. Sweet. So it fades it out nice and kind of allows you to focus yeah. on the whiteboards too. That looks awesome. So yeah. what, what kind of wood is it? Just pine? Yeah, so if anyone is interested in doing it, don't spend your money on like the stuff made to do it. Yeah. These are literally... The cheapest wood I could find at Menards, and when yeah. we dug through them, we actually found the ugliest boards that we could. Like, cool. The most yeah. knots and the Character. most like, holes and yeah. rips and stuff. Over here, you got your whiteboards. Whiteboards are essential, to, especially in a CrossFit gym. I'm sure you spend a lot of time over here, like coming up with your workouts. Yeah, as you can see, we're like old school. We like just putting workouts on the board and yeah. putting people's name and comparing, and leaving them up for until they need to be erased for more room. Yeah. Above you, we've got a heater. Anybody who has a garage gym and has worked out in the Midwest in the winter <laughs> would love this thing because that's a big heater for this size, so it heats up quick. Right. So this is a fold-away rack. You guys ever fold this away? No. Yeah. <laughs> Most people don't. No. no they just it's way it too much work. Yeah. Away. No. Definitely. Uh, so bars here. You got the special edition Bella bar, the pink. That one is so popular. I that's love that one. yeah. That's an awesome bar. Uh, this a uh, Rogue 2.0. Or this, Ohio. That's an Ohio, okay. but it's a uh, boneyard bar. Um, over here, the Mac Daddy of GHDs. This is the same one I have. People with kids recognize how great a garage gym is because they're like, my kids come out, they see me working out, they're a part of it. So it's not just like, oh, daddy's going to the gym. I don't even know what the gym is. It's like, yeah. gym's in my garage, it's just a part of our life. So I applaud you guys for like training and showing your kids how to work out. And it's cool that mom and dad work out together. You know, it's just like another thing that's just showing them like, you know, we just do everything just, together. Just how we do things. Yeah, exactly. Over here, uh, treadmill. This is like the least CrossFit thing in your gym. <laughs> uh, um, it was just a good, uh, Craigslist fine. Okay. Cool. Um, got it. This, this was, was the like first piece of workout equipment I think we ever got. I was gonna say this is before. This any was of like stuff. spare bedroom. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This over here, uh, very underrated piece. This yeah, measures definitely. distance. Yeah. And a lot of people they're like, you know, if you're doing a CrossFit workout, you run like 200, 400, yep. 600, whatever it is, and you're like guessing. This is where you can mark it out, and you probably mark it on the sidewalk or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's why I do like spray paint. Don't yeah. tell anybody. <laughs> uh, but this is a great piece to use because it's super easy, and you can know exactly how far away it is from your house. And then, last thing, 
Amazing American flag back there. Every garage gym has an American flag, <laughs> at least that I've seen in America. It's like <laughs> the gold standard. And then, exactly. oh, can you show us your pool? Yeah, this is awesome, dude. Oh, this is sweet. Hot tub. So your recovery hot tub over there. Yeah. Oh, man. After the daughter goes to sleep at night, come out, jump in the hot tub, jump in the pool, jump in the hot tub, jump yeah. in the pool. Awesome. Okay, well, that is one of the most epic gyms I've seen. This <laughs> Seriously, this thing is awesome. Thank you. Um, so, but we still have one le thing left to do, and that is work out. <laughs> so let's go sweat. You've seen their gym. Now build yours!